Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen. And together we shall support our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame, he say. The UN chief, Antonio Guterres, under fire for refusing to visit Biafra during the fact-finding mission in Nigeria. The Fulani Nigerian government refused to allow him to go and see what was happening in Biafra land. Guterres blames the UK government's one Nigerian policy that they support. And now, Buhari Impostor has no other option than to release Mazen Amdekano and allow Biafra to go. The British government is using one Nigeria to kill and destroy Igbo Biafra. And the UK government is against the restoration of Biafra because the UK government is using the Fulani Nigerian government to siphon Biafran resources and they don't want it to stop. The UK multinational companies are polluting Niger Delta Biafra and they don't want to do the cleanup of the oil pollution because it will cost them billions of dollars. And the full Nigerian government is covering up for them. That was why the UK government helped the full Nigerian government to kidnap an extraordinary rendition Mazen Amdekano from Kenya to Nigeria. The British government are hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They left the European Union because they believed that they don't have the same value system as the rest of Europe. But they are blocking, preventing Biafra from leaving Nigeria. Biafra does not, you know, they don't have the same value system as they compromised fraudulent Nigeria. They don't. And the British government is doing this because of their selfish interests. The United Nations chief, Antonio Guterres, was paid heavily by the full Nigerian government not to visit Biafra land during his fact-finding mission in Nigeria so that he will not see while the Fulani controlled Nigerian military and the criminal DSS are doing in Biafra land. You know, the UN chief did not visit Biafra land. He didn't do that. Because the Fulani Nigerian government does not want the whole world to see that the Nigerian security operatives and the criminal DSS are the real terrorists causing insecurity, not only in Nibo land, in the whole of Nigeria. Because the full anti terrorist bandits, 80% of them are Nigerian soldiers of full anti extractions. The UN chief visit to Nigeria is very political, biased and dishonest, and Antonio Guterres, dismissive and denial of atrocities against Biafran people by the terrorist Fulani Nigerian government can attest to this. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government, under serious disarray now, they are under serious disarray because their terrorist activities in Biafran land has been exposed, and the UK government support 
for the Fulani Nigerian government against the Afrian restoration has also been exposed. And the British government are trying to protect the little image that they have now that the Fulani Nigerian government has dragged to the mud with the kidnapping of Mazen Amdekano and the genocide going on in Biafra land. Buhari Imposto has accepted to release Mazen Amdekano only with the five southeastern states to form Biafra. But our great leader has insisted that not an inch of Biafra land will be ceded to the Fulani-controlled Nigeria because Biafra belongs to Chuko Kikabiyama and he created Biafra and he ordained Biafra for freedom and restoration and no one can stop that. No one. They cannot stop it because Chuko Kikabiyama was the one who created Biafra. He wanted Biafrans to serve him, to fellowship with him. But the full of the don't want Biafra to go. It is not by force to be a Nigerian. It is not. You know, the full of the Nigerian government are very shameless. Very, very shameless government. Nigeria has never witnessed it this low since the inception of the zoo called Nigeria. They have not witnessed this. They were begging the UK government, that is the full the Nigerian government, begging the UK government and their allies of the African country in West Africa to confiscate assets belonging to members and funders of IPOB. After their propagandas and lies that the UK government proscribed IPOB and the Stand Security Network as terrorist group, according to the Fulani terrorist cabal spokesman, Galba Shewu, he said that Buhari Imposto begged UK and other foreign countries to seize IPOB resources close their communication channels and sanction the issuance of visa to IPOB's funders. But the full and Nigerian government, at the same time, are covering up and making excuses for the full and terrorist mass murderers, causing havoc and mayhem, killing and kidnapping in Nigeria. Not a single Fulani terrorist has been arrested. Not a single one has been arrested. Rather, they just pack them in group and lie to the gullibles that they are repentant. And they start giving them money. That is why Biafra has to go. So that when the Fulani Janja with, they have their own country. They can do it anyhow. They can treat their nation anyhow. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.